Okay, so imagine with me for a second that your church doubles in size by this time next year. Whoa, are you pumped right now or did you just pee your pants? A little. But seriously, do you think that's even possible? Well, our pal Nelson seriously certainly thinks so, and in his book Ignite, he gives us some action steps for how you can get there. Okay, so obviously if your church is going to double in size, you need to have some more people, right? And the chance of all the people in your church having a baby boom that's that big is pretty unlikely. So the first question is, how do you get new people to come to your church? Now obviously you can't force people to come or even force your members to invite others, but you can make your church one that people actually want to come to. Yeah, yeah, I know what you're thinking, he's going to try to get to be all seeker friendly, right? Wrong. Would you even attend a town hall meeting if none of the topics were related to your life at all? Yeah. Okay, now I think you see my point. So let's get started on how to do this. So a great way to attract many first time guests to your church is by making a big deal out of a particular Sunday. Make it exciting and change things up, and of course, promote the heck out of it in your community. Now before you call Nelson crazy, there are a couple benefits to this. First, you're going to attract new people to your church who have never come before. Boom! Awesome! Next, you get to create the opportunity for people in your church to serve, and then they become more outward focused. And third, you get some all-important momentum rolling in your church. And in the process, you make the devil pretty mad too. But this is just one small part of the evangelism process. Nelson says that there are four other areas of responsibility. Alright, so the